30 beekeepers in St. Vincent and the Grenadines benefited from a beehive management training workshop which took place on Wednesday, April 26, 2023 at the Agricultural Technical Institute at Orange Hill. Apiculture Extension Officer Alan Williams facilitated the workshop. Mr. Williams explained that the purpose of the training is to have a hive expansion program and increased honey production in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The beekeeping um, sector is a friendly um, group of persons um, and we want to improve even better in terms of coming together and sharing information and helping and each and every one of us grow together. So this year in 2023, we, the Ministry of Agriculture, in collaboration with the SVG Beekeeping Association and other auxiliary organizations, we are aiming to have a, a beekeeping or hive expansion program. Over the past years, we have a team um, focusing on the growth and the sustainability of the beekeeping industry. And during the COVID time, we were interrupted. And even the, the volcano had interrupted our progress and we want to start back in full swing 2023. Uh, and this workshop is called um, Hive Expansion Program. We're going to share with you how we intend to expand the beekeeping sector in St. Vincent and how you could play a role in expanding the beekeeping industry. Uh, we also had planned today to actually to, to visit some of the apiaries, or the apiary that we have here a model apiary so that you can see exactly what the program is all about and how you can fit in to make sure that we also um, develop and increase the number of colonies that we have here in St. Vincent. Mr. Williams reported on the loss incurred by the Beekeepers Association during the pandemic and the volcanic eruptions and explained the potentials for profitability in beekeeping as a business. During the COVID um, post-volcanic eruption, we lost over 100 hives and we were, just before we had about 723 colonies and we lost about 100. But today, at the latest report, we just be able to revive just about 100 more hives. Uh, we have about 627 colonies in total. We want to double that amount within the next um, 18 months or even two years or so so that we can be able to meet our local demand for honey. We are only producing just about 1,200 gallons of honey per year, and the market seems to be expanding to about 2,100 gallons um, per year. Not to, t not to mention the honey that is going um, exporting, and it's, ex it's going overseas as well. So we have a, a, a big market that you can participate in and become entrepreneurs in beekeeping. All right, there's a, there's a big space for us and we, we are glad to see that we have mixture of youth and experience with us today. That is a good sign for progress. We are here though because we have received fund from the Global Environmental Fund um, about two years ago, which we were trying to enroll. And we, part of the growth and sustainability of the beekeeping industry is try to set up a model apiary where we can focus, one apiary can focus on the production of queens. Because generally, most of our beekeepers are focusing on honey production. And honey and, and queens, they are, they, are, they are interdependent. So if you are producing honey, you won't have the time or the resources to do both at one time. Mr. Williams concluded by providing details on the current project. This project in particular, that we are working in collaboration with the Beekeepers Association is uh, they are driving this activity. So this activity is actually sponsored by the GEF um, through the B SVG Beekeeping Association. In a nutshell, um, I want you to, to enjoy yourself, um, ask questions, there's no foolish question. Um, even if we laugh, we still are friends. <laughs> All right, so in the program, we're going to give you a synopsis of um, the whole situation and then we had planned to go and do a little demonstration and give an insight of what we're actually doing in terms of queen rearing, but it's very difficult to open our hives with this kind of weather. I really don't want to do that because the, the amount of moisture going into the colonies is, might defeat the purpose of our management issue. And plus, um, for most bees, uh, if I was a bee, I wouldn't want you to open my hive when, when rain coming. <laughs>
President of the local Beekeepers Association, Beverly Redock, expressed her delight in seeing the increase in membership and the growing interest of young people in beekeeping and she went into details about the project. When I entered the door, I felt really good because our numbers have tripled, I want to think. And not only tripled in numbers, I am happy to see so many young people that augurs well for the beekeeping industry and also for the association because without continuity we will die. So I am going to be handing over to a very nice young group so the association would have a much longer life as we go along. Now we are here because of the Jeff Small small um, grants program and uh, we have to be supported from time to time by various organizations and they are one of them global environmental fund right the jeff small grants program global environmental fund they have agreed to support us in a project that we prepared and as Alan from the ministry told you, and he's also a member of the association, that we want to get this so much honey in such a short time. So we put together the project, we gave them, and they agreed to assist us. And that's why we are here. Ms. Reddock concluded by repeating the goal of the association to produce 2,100 gallons of honey for the next couple of years and reminded the gathering of upcoming project activities. 2,100 gallons is our target for the next couple of years. We can make it more than that, so let's work to even try and make it more than that. We have our mite problem, we are working on it to make sure that our bees we do not become extinct because that well, might, can wipe out our bees. This industry started back in 2006 because before that there was a disease that affected the bees in most islands around here and we had to go to St. Lucia to help us to get some bees to start back our bee stock here. If they were selfish, we would not have been here. So I don't want us to be selfish. The project is going to be having a hive management project. Now, next week, we are supposed to be doing field training. So we will all like everybody to come back. We are going to be assisting farmers with the expansion of their hives. We are going to be assisting farmers when they get their honey, how to bottle it. And not only in the bottling, we want it to be very sanitized. So we will be inspecting your areas where you extract your honey. Because we have to ensure that number one product goes out on the market. We do not want somebody calling me and say, you know, I bought this bottle of honey from this person and it is foaming and, and something is, is seemed to be wrong. So our sanitation has to be number one. So we will be checking on these things. We will be also assisting you with creating labels and assistance in bottles. So as you, as you grow, we will see what need you have and we will try to assist in that need.